Hi everyone, Frankie M here, and today I'm going to be showing you how to make four different color flash powders. Now today we're going to be applying the same principle that we applied in my colored alcohol flame video. We're going to use metal ions to absorb heat energy and emit it at wavelengths that your eyes perceive as light. So the fuel we're going to be using here is magnesium powder. Magnesium is a very, very, very reactive uh, alkaline earth metal. Um, it's towards the uh, top left of the periodic table, uh, which, which those two groups are among the more reactive metals, the metals that want to get rid of their extra electrons and bond with those nonmetals. So we've got um, four different colors here. We've got strontium nitrate to produce red. Strontium ions make red. We've got sodium nitrate to produce a yellow-orange. Um, we've got barium nitrate to produce a green, and potassium nitrate to produce a red. So let me get my ratios for this. Okay, there we go. So first of all, let's make our uh, sodium yellow. The ratio for this is one gram of magnesium to 1.39 grams of sodium nitrate. So let's add a bit of magnesium powder. Okay, 2.8 grams of magnesium. Let me go get my calculator. Okay, so we've got 2.8 grams of magnesium, so let's multiply that by 1.39. 2.8 times 1.39. Okay, and we are going to need approximately 3.892 grams of sodium nitrate. Okay, now as you can see, we've got a rather large particle size, and as I stated in my thermite video, the um, smaller the particle size, the faster the reaction is going to be, because only two substances can only react if they are physically touching. So we're going to grind this in a mortar and pestle real quick. Okay, now word of advice here, never, ever, ever grind fuels and oxidizers in the same mortar and pestle, even after you wash it out. Buy a separate mortar and pestle for fuels and oxidizers, um, because some of these mixtures are friction sensitive, and if you have, if you either mix your mixture, if you either grind your mixture together in one of these, or you um, have a bit of residue in there, then you could accidentally ignite your mixture by friction sensitivity, which is obviously bad news. Alright, that's ground up much more much more finely than it was earlier, so we'll have a faster reaction this way. So let's add our oxidizer. Okay, so let's mix that up really well. Now I wouldn't mix this um, too vigorously. I would just kind of, just kind of, just kind of shake it a little bit. This mixture is uh, these magnesium and nitrate mixtures can be uh, friction or shock sensitive, so you have to be very careful when you're making these. Do not store these mixtures. Uh, use them right after you make them because they have a tendency to self-ignite if stored too long and obviously that's not good news either okay 
so let's make a mini flashbang. Now always use uh, either cardboard or paper containers for these. If you use something like PVC or metal, um, the nitrogen produced um, under the extreme heat produced by the reaction will pressurize and blow the container apart, sending bits of shagged, uh, bits, bits of jagged metal or PVC everywhere, also known as shrapnel, which is quite deadly. Let's cut a hole for a fuse. All right, let's funnel in the mixture. of that later. Alright, let's push the plug in. Alright, and just just get the plug just just in enough to just in enough to contain this stuff. Um, don't put any pressure on it. Better to be on the safe side. Let's cut a fuse. Okay. All right, let's label it. Let's label it NA for sodium flash. All right, there's one. Okay, let's move on to our um, to our white flash, potassium nitrate and magnesium. So let's start by adding our magnesium. Okay, 3.6 grams of magnesium. So our ratio here is one gram of magnesium to 2.02 grams potassium nitrate. All right, so let's multiply 3.6 times 2.02. Okay, now we'll need 7.27 grams of oxidizer. We've already got a pretty fine powder here, so we're not going to need to grind this. Alright, let's add the oxidizer. Okay. Now let's mix this. And cut a nice, nice long fuse to give you some time to get away from it as this reaction is very, very fast. Okay, let's label this one. K for potassium. Okay, there's our second flashbang. Okay, let's move on to our next mixture. All right, we're going to be mixing green here. So we're going to, to use uh, barium nitrate as our oxidizer. Let me get another cup. Right. 
Let's add our magnesium. <clears throat> okay, four grams magnesium. So our ratio here is one gram of magnesium to 2.09 grams barium nitrate. So four times 2.09. Okay, 8.36 grams oxidizer. All right. Okay. Mix it. Okay, let's label this BA for barium. Okay, let's make our last one now. And we're going to make be making a red flash, so we're going to use uh, strontium nitrate as our oxidizer. So let's add the magnesium again. Okay. 4.1 grams magnesium. Alright, our ratio here is 1 gram of magnesium to 1.7 grams strontium nitrate. So 4.1 times 1.7, and we'll need 6.97 grams of oxidizer. Okay. All right, let's mix it. Okay, let's label this SR4 strontium. So let's go test these out. Alright, let's light our crackers now. First I'm starting off with sodium. Alright, sodium was our most powerful type, especially if you pulverize the powder like that. So we're going to go on to potassium next. There we go, nice bright white flash. Alright, let's go on to barium now. Bright green flesh. And last but not least, strontium.
bright red flash. Okay, so that was one of my more dangerous and crazy experiments, but hope you guys enjoyed it. I don't recommend trying that without background knowledge and um, proper safety procedures. If you do decide you want to try it anyway, I cannot emphasize this enough. Do your research, know what you're dealing with. So with that said, um, feel free to try out my safer experiments that I've done in the past and will do in the future. And feel free to contact me about how to do so. So I hope you guys enjoyed and I'll see you guys in the next video.